This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, in today's video, guys, it's a very quick video. That a uh, couple of things. First of all, that we have to refactor our uh, project structure that we have created. Second thing is that uh, how will you write a step definition when you write against any feature file, and then uh, what are the different uh, mapping? Concepts are available between feature file and the step definition file a quick video I really want to show you that the moment you change your feature file step Immediately it will be reflected It will be flagged that okay. There is no step definition is available for that particular Step so let's see how to do that. So first of all that uh, Instead of this SRC test Java all my feature file should be returned under SRC test resources although it's not compulsory. It's not mandatory that uh, we have to write under SRC test resources But according to the Maven structure that uh, according to the build automation structure that it should be part of your SRC test resources because these are my resource files So what I'm going to do that I'm going to create uh, another source folder over here that is SRC test Resources and click on finish and I'll do one thing this particular package. I'll right click on it and completely move it over there From here to here SRC test resources and I delete it from here Just simple delete that Then you can see that under SRC test resources I have this particular uh, search dot feature that we created last time and then my step definitions are available under search steps dot Java it should be part of your SRC test Java and then under SRC main Java my actual implementation I'll be writing over here now Second thing is that what you have to do uh, You have to download the plugin and that we have already downloaded that is cucumber eclipse plugin But you have to keep checking that there is a upgraded version or not so you can check the upgraded version over here so you simply go to this particular site and the previous video also I have already told you that you have to go to install new software and uh, just Copy paste this particular site and then here it will show that Eclipse plugin over there Okay, it's saying that no software found. That's okay. Let me edit it once again. You have to Copy this particular URL So just copy this Once again over here And here you can see that okay. Yeah, cucumber Eclipse plugin you select it and click on next This plugin is already available on my Eclipse. So I don't need to do that once again that's why it's not showing any next button, but in your case, please update the Eclipse plugin from this particular URL I'll share this particular URL in the description of the video and then keep click on next you have to accept the license agreement and then Just simply restart your Eclipse once and that's it after that what you have to do guys that uh, let me just close these uh, feature and I'm going to create one more feature file. So let's take one simple example. I'm going to create one a file over here and my file name. Let's see. I'm giving um, Let's see uber Dot a feature in this particular uber dot feature. I'm going to write some uh, Some feature and one or two scenarios. Let's see. I'm going to write so let me just delete all these things I don't need that and then I'm going to write that my first feature that is Let's see for this particular feature you can simply write the moment you write see <laughs> feature is a keyword so press control space automatically it will give you an option that okay yeah you have a feature and then what is the feature name so let's see this is my uber uh, booking feature then what is the uh, scenario so you can write your scenario whatever the scenario let's see uh, I simply write booking cab over here and then you will start writing given press control space given will be coming automatically and you simply write let's say user wants to select a car a type whatever the car type <clears throat> let's see car type i'm selecting sedan from where from uber app and then i simply write when user selects car so user wants to select the car type sedan from uber app and user selects car Sedan let's see I'm writing simple and 
pickup point as let's see i'm writing my pickup point as uh, bangalore and drop location let's see i'm simple writing some another city over here let's see pure like that and then i'm simple saying that the driver starts the journey then once the journey is over the driver ends the journey and then i'm simple writing uh, instead of then i'm writing and over here and uh, and i simple say that then once again then a user pays something let's see 1000 usd like that okay so i'm writing it like this users selects car ends the journey and uh, start the journey end the journey and pay thousand dollars and you simple save it over here the moment you save it just close it and you open it again fine now what i'm going to do i'm going to execute this particular uber dot feature so that i can get my step definition suggestions in the console because we don't have any step definition written so far so i'm going to run as run configuration and uh, <clears throat> let's uh, select this particular project once again that is my cucumber practices and select this particular uh, project from the workspace so we will go to this uh, cucumber practices go to src go to uh, test resources app feature and uber dot feature we have to select this particular file apply and click on run when you run it on the console you will see that okay yeah we don't have any step definition defined for that particular uh, scenario so i'm just going to define the step definition over here so simple copy this entire thing <clears throat> and then what i'm going to do one thing you notice that here can you see this one explanation mark over here that against this particular uh, feature file we don't have any step definition and right now it's not giving you any flag over here that okay yeah for this particular step do we have any step definition no so for that what you just need to do right click on your project and go to configure and convert to a cucumber project can you see this convert to cucumber project here you can see that okay it's converting the cucumber project and you can see that okay all these four or five steps are flagged now can you see this particular orange color it means with this particular warning it's saying that this particular step does not have any matching glue code glue code means there is no step definition is defined for that particular step so immediately the moment you write a step over here immediately it will give it to you same thing if you check it for the search feature it's not showing anything for search feature any any glue code warning it's not showing that you can see a green color code over here that okay yeah we, it's glued can you see that glued with with this particular step over here in my search steps so against that particular uh, step i have already written uh, at the rate given method a particular glue step definition i have written so for search feature it's not giving you any warning but for uber dot feature it's giving you all these warnings why because <clears throat> we don't have any step definition for that so what i'm going to do i'm going to define those step definitions so right click on it go to new and create a class and let's say this time i'm going to write uber a booking steps i'm going to write and simple copy paste those methods and you simple import all these given when then the moment you import go to uber dot feature and you see that okay all the warnings are gone it means it's coming as a green color it means all the steps are absolutely mapped with the respective step over here fine now you can do directly jump over here from here directly that okay yeah against this particular uh, step where exactly the step definition is written you simple press control and from the macbook you can press command and click on it you will reach over here so this thing is coming because of that plugin that we have downloaded that's why this plugin will help you a lot to move from your uh, feature file to the step definition file it will give you the respective warning also that this particular step is uh, defined or not in your step definition and then after that you are just good to go and let me just simple uh, remove this particular uh, through exception code i simple write a simple system dot outer print island over here that yeah whatever i'm writing let's see i simple printing the same statement over here one thing you notice that these are coming a regular expression like that this these are called cucumber regular expression that is the next chapter i'll tell you what is the difference between a cucumber expression and the typical 
Java regular expression. I'll talk about it later. So that's why it's coming as a string because uh, this Uber dot feature and Sedan I have written within double quotes. So Cucumber will automatically recognize that okay, you are passing one string feature or one string parameter over here, and the same parameter you can pass it over here. So instead of a string, I can give a proper name. Let's see, this time I'm giving car type over here, and then same thing, select the string, pick a point, and the drop location also in a string, and then you can change the parameter accordingly. That again, this is my car. Uh, type what is your pickup point so I create one string over here that this is my pickup point and this is my a uh, drop point or drop point location or whatever pickup location and drop location I'll write it better like this location and then accordingly you can use these variables in your implementation over here Simple. So I'll be writing. Let's say this is my uh, step uh, one. I quickly write, and this is my step number two. I'm not writing any implementation, guys. This is just for the demo point of view. Later on, when we integrate with Selenium or something else, then I'll show you how to write proper Selenium code and everything. And then uh, let's see. I'm writing here for step number four. This is my step four. And quickly, I'll be writing for this guy also step number five simple and uh, here i'm see here you can see that user pays what i have written over here i have returned one thousand thousand will be considered as a numeric integer value so that's why it's showing you int as a regular expression over here and the same you can write that okay yeah whatever the price that you are paying for that right and just for your reference i'll do one thing along with this particular step one I'll do one thing that I'll just print this car type so that you will get to know that whatever the car type we are passing in our case we are passing sedan so sedan will be given to this guy and the same car type will be printed over here on the console same thing let's see I'm writing that is step two with my uh, different uh, car type over here car type plus uh, sorry about that car type <clears throat> then I'm writing plus whatever the pickup location plus with one space and then I'm writing whatever the drop location that you're writing the drop location and C small okay here we don't have any parameter we don't have any parameter here I'm passing parameter as price so the same price I'm printing it over here with the step number five okay <clears throat> now one thing you notice the moment I add let's see from uber app and I'm writing application and you save it immediately it got flagged why because automatically it will recognize that you have added instead of app you have written application and the same corresponding step definition is not written over here so you can see that okay user wants to select a car type from user app so I have written app over here but here it's we have written application it means we have updated our step definition so we have to change over here as well so let's say i'm writing uber application the moment i write and save it immediately this flag is gone sometimes what happens it takes some time or maybe automatically it does not get saved so what do you do simple close it and open it again and you will see that yeah okay, everything is in green color everything is mapped over here like that same thing vice versa if i do that okay uber application if i'm writing a system over here and then you simple save it then you come over here immediately it got flagged once again because we have updated in the step definition in my java code but here we haven't updated over here so that's why it works vice versa like that so let it be like this and then let's run it again and let's see what happens so i simple uber dot feature i'm going to run as run configuration and uh, you can see uber dot feature with the same project you can select and then click on run and uh, this time you go to the console and you can see that okay yeah all the five steps in this particular scenario absolutely working fine and you can see on the console that uh, step one sedan given user selects car type sedan that is what we are printing in a console that is step one sedan the same thing you can see it over here that is step one sedan then the next thing is that a step two car type you can see that okay yeah step two is my car type sedan bangalore to pune that is my drop location and pickup location and uh, step three four it's normal driver start the journey and end the journey along with step three and step four 
and step five is the price with thousand dollars right so like this guys it will work and then here you can write your whatever the testing logic or business logic with assertions and everything you can write it over here perfect so this is how we work with the feature file mapping with the step definition and please download this plugin uh, from this particular location that I've already uh, shown you very very helpful plugin and then um, if it is uh, not showing please convert your Kikimba project to the I mean this particular project to the Kikimba project I'll repeat once again right click on it and go to configure and convert to Kikimba project and that's it it will automatically convert it and it will show this maven with green color over here can you see that maven with green color so this is not a maven java project now now this will become a maven cucumber project okay guys so that's all for this particular video i really wanted to cover this quick tip so that we can proceed accordingly in further upcoming videos thank you so much guys please subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any issues put it in the comment section if you are facing any issue with the configuration or any um, a plugin configuration or a step definition configuration i'll be replying over there thank you so much guys thanks for watching navin automation labs